I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even know that they even taxed tips. Wagwan, everybody. I am Ty Smith. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. Appreciate every last one of you taking time out of your day or evening, depending on what side of the world you're in, to view my content. Make sure that if you do enjoy my content and you want to see more of it and you want it to consistently be recommended to you, please, 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 it's imperative that you click this right here. Seriously, it's not about you. I want to see what you're going to talk about first. If you like the content that I do anyway, you just want to recommend it to you. For example, if you don't even like this video once I play it, you still want to hit the thumbs up button because if I do post another video that you may like, that video can be recommended to you. You can make a decision. But if you don't do anything, YouTube will stop recommending my content to you. So they say. And then next thing you know, you might find yourself being unsubscribed. Don't believe me? Check your subscription right now. Also, be sure to follow me on all the content you see up here, you know, here and here. Follow me on all those platforms. That's what I meant, okay? Appreciate it, all right, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ready to get into this. Now, you heard my intro to this, and some of y'all don't even front like you knew it i didn't i had no idea so trump went down to vegas and he lit the crowd up not because it was hot there but because of the things that he said and what he talked about it completely ignited them down in viva las vegas where what happens in vegas stays in vegas so anyway let me show you guys what he's talking about right here right pay attention uh, meanwhile in other news the former president of the united states donald trump in las vegas He's trying to ensure that he can get more votes when it comes to the voting out there. Um, particularly hot weekend in Las Vegas in a lot of part of the country. Like 100 degrees. Yeah, no kidding. They hired extra medics. They loaded up on fans, water bottles. People could use the umbrellas because the temperatures were over 100 degrees. But nonetheless, the reason they stood out there, they wanted to hear him, and he did not let them down. Here's some of what the former president had to say. Now we have a lot of Democrats that are coming over because really we're the party of common sense. Less than four years ago, I handed Crooked Joe the strongest, most secure border in the history of our country. This is a different level. This is the worst border in the history of the world. We took in hundreds of millions of dollars and much of it was small money donors. Hundreds of thousands of people contributed that they wouldn't have except for the court case. And our poll numbers are higher now than they were before because the people are watching and they know a fake deal. For those hotel workers and people that get tips, you're gonna be very happy because when I get to office, we are going to not charge taxes on tips, people making tips. People are saying to themselves, were we better off four years ago or are we better off now? The other thing that stands out about his speech is he's having a better time than I can ever remember him. Mm -hmm. Goes back to maybe 2015. He's kind of going off. For a guy that knows he's going to be sentenced July 11th, he could end up in jail you would th and gone through all the stress of everything else. I think that he sees the polls. This is the best polling he's ever had. It doesn't mean he's won. Mm -hmm. But it's the best polling you ever had. Imagine being in Nevada, a place you lost by three points, mm -hmm. and you're up on every poll four, and two polls ago he's up by 12. I got to tell you, I'm sorry, Ainsley. Yeah, go ahead. So obviously at a Trump rally, you get the comedy. Yeah. All right, he's going to do his performance and everything, going to go off script. But I have to say, I've been impressed with the discipline on the message, on the issues. And for most Americans, it is common sense. Do you want a secure border or not? Do you want to pay more taxes or not? Do you think people should uh, be paying taxes under tips? Uh, do you want law and order in the country? Do you want to close the border? Do you want to close the do border? Do you want a strong military? The, the interesting thing is, it, it, so Gallup ran this same poll uh, four years ago, and 56% of Americans said they were better off, but they still went with Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. The question is, have things gotten so bad now? That was when things were going good in the country. Have they gone so bad that people are willing to change the way they vote? Mm -hmm. And I think that is what we're going to be looking It's not a matter of people think Donald Trump is better for them. We already know that. It was the same thing four years ago. Are people willing to take his personality and, and vote and in the their best And the difference in this election that we've seen in past elections, we have two guys running against each other 
who have both been president. Right. So you mm -hmm. actually can do that comparison. Right. Yeah. You could say, were four you better years, off? Were you better off? Maybe you're making the same amount of money, but is your dollar going farther under or further under Biden or under Trump? Well, you see inflation. Inflation was what, 1.4 when Donald Trump was in office? And now then we've seen as high as what, 7%, 8%, 9% under, under Joe Biden? Everything, Ainsley, is 20% and 19 More than what it used to be. Yeah, exactly. And so, Ultimately, th there are a lot of things that have gone haywire with the country over the last three and a half years. But I think it is, to your point, Lawrence, and we've been talking about this for months, it's the bread and butter that's issue. It. Everything costs so much. And that's the common sense. It I just, like the party of common sense. Yeah. I want. I hope he continues with I it. Bought, I bought six chicken thighs uh, at the height of the mm -hmm. pandemic. They lefties were $5. or righties? Five dollars. Hmm? <laughs> lefties or righties? Chicken thighs. Yeah. Right is more expensive because usually chickens are right, uh, right handed. Is that true? No. They just, have hands? That's not, just that's just keep telling you your story. You know nothing about farming. Keep telling your story. Uh, Dawn does the good exactly. cooking in that house. Yeah. I've, I've been to the grocery store one million times. I've never seen left or right, right. chicken thighs. Yeah, you got to look closer. Anyway, they you're, you're always in such a rush. During during the pandemic, they were four fifty. I bought them yesterday. They were eleven dollars. It's a lot of thighs. So Steve, that's a lot I, of thighs. I, 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 and, and he it, likes it, thighs. It impacts everybody. Everything we buy costs more, and now there are apparently labels left or right. See? Why not? Yeah, why not try breasts? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you why. There's more flavor. He's not a breast in, guy. <laughs> there's more flavor in the chicken thighs. Is that a breast? Really? Here's the deal, Steve. Yeah. And you've been doing this for 25 plus years. The thing is with Brian, you just got to ignore the comments from him. He tries to, <laughs> no, no. He tries to get you off guard. No, 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 I'm just telling you what I'm saying. That was a total <laughs> so rude. Fair Sorry. point. And then he hops in. <laughs> I, but it didn't listen, throw him, though. To, didn't throw him. to his defense. Yeah. I love that. You do. Right. I love it when he says that <laughs> right. thing that makes no sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've never heard right. that. Right. Right. Yeah. Now I've got to look it yeah. up because I love it. Okay, so you saw that. You heard all that. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to admit I was ignorant to this, and some of you may be too. I did not know that when it came to anybody in the field of work where you can be tipped, I did not know that that money is taxed. I really didn't. I thought that whatever they made an hourly wage from their boss or whatever that job is, whether it's a waitress, whether you are a driver, DoorDash, I did not know that tips are supposed to be reported as well. I'm not lying. Some of my mentees, a lot of my mentees, their first jobs were driving for DoorDash, Grubhub, Lyft, all these different, all these different things they drive for them, right? That's why they wanted me to do this video. Mr. Ty, am I supposed to? I, guys, I'm serious. I didn't know that. I thought that, like, if you see on, and I get it now, if you see on DoorDash where, guys, I'm just saying I didn't know. I didn't know. Waitresses, I did not know. You're telling me when I leave you, because, I, guys, I'm, I'm being real with y'all. Anytime me and my wife go anywhere, my son's going anywhere, whoever the waitress is going to be, they're going to be very blessed with the tip that we leave. And now for me to know that they get taxed, man, that just kind of makes you like, oh, I didn't know they even had to report that. Anyway, but for Trump to come along and say he's going to make sure that that don't get taxed, woo wee, nice. I would say nice. That's something that I feel that those people definitely will be blessed by should he do that. But what is it going to take to do all that? Because there's some other things I got written down that I feel like, Trump, this shouldn't be taxed either. You know what I'm saying? Like people that follow my channel, people that send things in through PayPal, Cash App, I feel that if that's a donation, that shouldn't be taxed either. But if you know you do it through Cash App or PayPal, if they see that you made anything over $600, they're taking that. Isn't that amazing that they'll do that? Because somebody want to gift you with something. If it's over $600, tax it. Amazing. Anyway, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that President Trump, if he becomes president again, do you think that he will actually be able to have the power to take that tax away? And do you think that he's going to have the power to take away a whole lot of other taxes that he's talking about? Whatever the case may be, y'all let me know because I'm not, you know, I'm not privy on and have the smartness for all that to know what all the insides of what it's going to take to do that. If you know that information, leave it in the comments and let me read it. All right. Let's see. Don't forget to click this before you get out of here. And also don't forget to check your cell phones. If there's one person in your cellular phone that you did not tell about this channel, by all means, let them know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe after checking it out. All right. Let's hear it, folks. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.
Thank you.